He was the first student, the first black student in the physical education program, graduated from University of Kansas in 1936. But one of the requirements for the PE program was to be a, a good swimmer, to pass the swimming test. John was an excellent swimmer. In fact, he was a lifeguard, but he was denied entrance into the pool because of the color of his skin. And John, of course, didn't take this lightly. He jumped in the pool one day. They emptied the pool. He said, I'm coming back the next day and do the same thing. You're going to have a heck of a water bill. So he had a good sense of humor as well as incredible courage. And he and Dr. Naismith, with Dr. Naismith's help, integrated the pool at the University of Kansas, which was no small feat at the time. There was no television, of course. Uh, very few games were on radio. Uh, and the African-American colleges were not allowed to play in the NCAA tournament or the NIT. So unless you happened to be in one of these rather small gyms where they were playing, you didn't know how good they were. But McClendon's team was way ahead of everyone else. This was the highest scoring basketball team of any level in the United States that year. And he had really figured out a new modern way of playing but he did, he told me he didn't know, you know, could they compete with white players? Were they going to be good enough? And so he wanted to find out. And word of the game, despite the fact that they kept it secret, word of the game leaked out. And um, white college players, many who were in the military prep, for example, at the University of North Carolina, heard that there was some new kind of basketball being played at this little black college. And so all that summer, they snuck over in cars and had pickup games and things like that. And, you know, McClendon had really found the secret to the to the modern game. He's the one who really perfects the fast break. Um, he's the one who introduced full court pressure defense. And he's also the first to, to really introduce a, a serious conditioning program. His players were in better shape than anyone. And those ideas slowly leaked out. 